So today I have a Yabo, as you can clearly see on the side here. I'm actually going to open this upside down just because I want to protect the information from the person who sent it. This came out of California. It was actually part of a trade. I'm very excited to open this because there's one thing specifically in here that I traded for that I'm very much looking forward to carrying. So today's uh, EDC is that Spyderco Rock. You guys heavily requested that I do a review on this. And I will. I've been carrying it. It's actually kind of cool for Halloween. A little bit of a hatchet thing going on there. So let's open this up. Hopefully, I know it was packed specifically to be open the other way. So I'm hoping it doesn't damage anything. All right. So we got a CRKT box. That was unexpected. The person threw in some extras. It's not for the trade. Oh, he did tell me that their box is holding stuff, but it's not necessarily what's in it. And this looks like I was looking to trade for. Something else here, a couple surprises, which is nice. And I think the rest, oh, no, there's a note. Deep down in there. And I think that's it. The rest are packing peanuts. All right. So let's uh, read the note first. Just feel free to read on camera. Okay. Hey Jeff, uh, first off, love the videos, man. Uh, I like seeing the unique things like battle songs and autos. Unique from me, anyways, uh, since ballets are no no and autos uh, have to be less than two inches. Um, anyway, I've been involved, or I've been mm, something, a few extras. I've included a few extras in here for you. I thought the uh, GOPs would be mad if I didn't send Color Lover at least one blade. Um, so in the CRKT box is one of my first name brand knives. The K-Bar Warthog. Oh, very cool. I actually used to have one. I haven't had one in many years. Um, it was just a little... It was just sitting uh, in my closet since it's not really uh, my style anymore. Next is the sh in the Shrade, you'll find a Monte Cristo. Oh, very cool. Uh, I do occasionally like a cigar, and this is one of my favorites. You've also, you'll also find a Gurkha. Not a big fan of the dark wrappers. Actually, that's awesome because I am a huge fan of a deep, dark uh, Maduro. Uh, but I figured you might enjoy it. Yes, awesome. The darker, the better for me, anyway, when it comes to cigars. Um, lastly is, uh, for lack of a better term, the something caddy? The tool caddy. Yes, it's the Hitch and Timber Runt 2.0 with card carrier. Uh, I really did like it. However, I still occasionally work in a warehouse and did want, didn't want to mess it up. So I ended up buying a different one uh, made of Cordura. That being the case, I only used it about four or five times a month. So I'm happy to pass along to someone who will get more use out of it. I also think it'll be uh, pretty close to the color of your wallet. Thanks again for all the cool videos from Sean. Thank you, Sean. Sorry for butchering your letter there. It's hard reading through. I'm kind of half reading off to the side and reading through the viewfinder. But yes, the main part of this trade was for the um, like pocket organizers, what I would call it, or tool caddy, I guess is the appropriate word for it. Um, ever since I mentioned that I was, I was looking for one, I, uh, I was very serious about you know, getting one to start carrying, and he contacted me on Instagram and offered it to me, and I was really stoked about it. I even packed it in plastic for me. It was very cool. It feels like it's brand new. So I'm very excited to start carrying this every day. This one's already a little pre-broken in. So you got a card carrier on the back, which is cool. Horn Bearded Brothers. <laughs> Review of hair and beard products. Okay, I'll have to check them out. Um, so yeah, the back has the card carrier, which you can put a couple of random things in there. There's two tool pockets. I'm kind of planning on doing a multi-tool and a flashlight, but just depends on what's going to fit in here or not. And then on the side, there's a spot for a pen. 
And I actually already ordered, I'm gonna do a separate video on it probably in the future, but I ordered a, another uh, Fisher Space Pen. I'm not too happy with it, and I'll explain why in the future. Nothing really wrong, I mean, it's functional and everything, but I'll explain more about that in the future. So this is what I actually traded for, and I'm very excited to have it. And yeah, um, this leather finish is probably pretty close to what my wallet looks like right now. So yeah, you guys will see this in the next EDC update whenever I do that, but very, very excited about that. So, I think the Warthog is in here. This is a classic uh, K-Bar knife. I know a bunch of people who actually start off with uh, the Warthog for their first uh, K-Bar. Pretty aggressive looking design. Very cool knife though. I do like it, like I said, it's been a while since I've had one. So really cool. I don't know if I've ever actually reviewed the Warthog before, so I may or may not carry that and do a, a review for you, but we'll see. Pretty cool, classic K-Bar folder. All right. Let's see what tape is. I want to cut the contents. Oh, this is the Gurkha. Really, really cool. It's a Tubos. Awesome. So maybe we'll do a review on that in the future. That was really nice of him. He didn't have to do that, as well as these. This is the Monte Cristo. Classic series. Awesome. Let's see. Yeah, classic Churchill. So, very, very cool of you. Really appreciate it. Huge two, two thumbs up on that. These being a bonus, that was just super nice, very generous. This is what I was very excited about. Oh, I can't wait. Can't wait to start carrying this. It's just because, as you guys know from watching my EDC updates, I always have a main folder which is separate. That's usually clipped to my pocket, the neck knife that's totally separate. Uh, but down in the pocket, uh, whether it's a flashlight, a lighter, whether it's a Zippo or a Bic, uh, multi-tools, just random things always float around and kind of clink and clank on the inside of the pocket. And I really wanted something to organize it with so I could slip the whole thing in. Nothing's rubbing and bumping and stuff. Um, also just makes a lot of noise and it's just kind of, you know, the weight is being thrown around as I'm moving around. So something like this would be absolutely perfect. I'll always have the pen in here, just not 100% on what two tools will be in here. After seeing it, the size, I'll have to I'll have to wait and see. Who knows? You guys will see when I do my next EDC update what I've uh, actually decided to carry in this thing. But super cool. Hitch and timber. Let me get that right side up. Again, this one's a 2.0. I did see, after talking about this, I looked up the company. They have a bunch of different, you know, varieties of these. All right. So stay tuned. You guys will see that in the future. So thanks again, Sean. Appreciate it. A great deal. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy the quick video. If you do carry a pocket organizer or tool carrier, whatever you want to call something like this. Let me know down in the comment section what you got, how what your setup is, how you use it, and uh, if it's something that you like or not. I really think this is something I'll like, you know, long term. Just like the wallet, I feel like I'm going to have it for many, many months. So that's all. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. And we'll do a review on this guy right here, the people who are uh, interested. So I hope you guys uh, have a great day and I'll see you soon. Take care.